Hi friends, Tracy here from The Sewing Channel. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I found some treasures that I'm gonna keep and I know you like to get in the game too. So I have a couple treasures just for you up for auction. Stay to the end so you can see this absolutely beautiful white sewing machine wood stand case it's very old very vintagey they had the drawers oh my word the drawers if they could only just sell me one drawer but of course they can't so I'll share with you the price and show you what this beautiful cabinet that's what they're called <laughs> And I will show you what this beautiful cabinet looks like. Boy, was it gorgeous. I thought about popping on it, but ah, I've got nowhere to put it. <laughs> Enough talking already. Let's get busy thrifting. So upon entering the craft section, there was this metal kind of bin sitting there. And it had a bunch of craft supplies in it. And I had never seen a bin like this just sitting kind of on the outskirts of my craft section, but I started to go through it, and honestly, it looked like a bunch of junk, except this right here. Now, this was a really tiny, cute pin cushion. At first, I thought it was vintage, but when I got it home, oh man, it was just a newer version of a pin cushion, so, oh well. You saw a tape measure there for $1.99. Now, back to that pin cushion. There was no price on it, so when I got to the register, the guy just threw it in for free. So now I have a free teeny tiny pin cushion. It's all right with me. Here we have some serger thread, some burgundy and some greens. They had a lot of these big cones. I already have a lot of big cones, and I'm trying not to collect thread. I used to collect it there all the time because thread is just so expensive. But I have too much. I may be giving mine to the Goodwill. Look here, friends, some candle wicking. Oh, my word. Remember in my last video, I had no clue what candle wicking was. But thanks to you all, now I do. And here's some more candle wicking. Next item, I had no clue when I first saw it at the Goodwill when I picked it up. But now that I'm going over the video when I'm editing, I see that it's a maternity stretch panel. I thought, why is Dritz selling panties? in a package. Oh my word, I'm losing it. Here's some hand weaving yarn for $1.99. Does anyone hand weave? Tell me in the comments. So I continued to dig and I found some gardening tape, I believe it is, the green stuff right there. There was some binding in there too as well. And I believe I found some silky like um, ribbon for around a baby blanket yeah right there and there was just some you know a lot of junk really and then there was this big heavy block now it was heavy and you know what even the goodwill had no clue what this was they put the word wax with a question mark now they wanted 3.99 for this mystery item i wasn't popping on that who in the world would buy that? I don't even know what it is. If you think you know what this mystery item is, let me know down in the comments. Enlighten us all. Now on to the regular craft section. Here was some transfers, iron-on transfers. It says, think green. So it looks like some kind of recycling project. I'm, I'm not sure. Behind that was a real pretty lace collar. How pretty is that? But it's not really in style anymore. Down on the bottom shelf, I found some Ada cloth or Ida cloth. Remember, we had a big discussion about how it was pronounced in one of my comment sections of one of my Goodwill hauls. However you say it, it was $1.99 and I checked the package and it was not all there. So not a good buy. I put it back. There's always an interesting find over here in the craft section and this is one of them. This is an airbrush gun. Now I know these are very, very pricey. You can bet that these are probably 60 to $100 online on Amazon. So I picked it up. It's probably gonna just go in my eBay store once I figure out what the cost is for someone to buy it. 
Our first item up for auction is this quilting template for the Drunkard's Path. This is a flexible type template ruler. It's not real hard like acrylic. I paid $1.99 for this template, but the auction will go up for 99 cents. The auction will go live for seven days directly after the first airing of this video. The link to bid on this item is down in the description box directly below this video. I'm inserting a quick video here of what the back of this package looks like. It even comes with different patterns that you can make with it. This caught my eye right here. Anything with Marilyn Monroe on it, tends to catch my eye just because I know that some of it can be collectible but as I looked there was nothing really in this package so I don't know what they're trying to sell here this here was one of those singer handheld sewing gizmos I'm not real sure I've never had one and I'm not so sure they work that well I'd rather turn my sewing machine on and sew how about you on this shelf here were some stamps, and they usually go for about $1.99 for the big stamps. This was $2.99. It was some kind of a memory foam stamp. Here was some tiny, cute cross-stitch project. This here said vinyl lettering for a girl, so I'm wondering if it's some kind of baby shower decoration or something. This package here said that this was a Ukrainian Easter egg decorating kit. Never heard of that before. Have you? This was made by Discovery and it was a light up sign that you could put words on. I think that would be a really nice item to get if it was all in there, but I didn't know if it was all in there, so I left it. Now it's been a while since I've been at my Goodwill and this is still here. Remember that knitting kit that you all said was worth a lot of money, you thought, depending on the name? Well, it's still sitting there at the Goodwill. If anyone's interested, here's the name of it right here. It either says boy or boil, not sure. Right here is some of that floss, embroidery floss. There was a bag of it there, but it wasn't as great of a deal as we got last time, so I left it. They wanted $1.99 for it, and now that I think of it, it probably was a good deal. Sorry, guys. Here was an embroidery pillow kit, one of those round rolly pillows. I thought that was kind of cute. I think this was cross stitch. It says pre-stenciled something, but I can't tell, but it had a really cute violin on it. Here are just some other projects. There was like a vest project and something about full-size patterns, but I really couldn't tell what in the world it was. I was looking and looking and thinking, what are you? And if I can't figure it out in a few minutes, I just put it back because Ain't nobody got time for that, right? <laughs> oh, how I wish I needed felt. There were so many felt bags up in this Goodwill. I mean, check that out. We just did those boards, those design boards uh, last week. One of my tutorials was, and someone had mentioned about doing a felt play board. And I thought, what a great idea. That would be perfect for that. But... I don't have any project like that coming up, so I left it. Here it looked like they were selling just scraps out of someone's sewing room. Um, there was this big, heavy drapery type, upholstery type fabric right here. I think it would be a great buy for someone who's in need of it for $5.99. Here they just had different little bags full of, oh, there here was some bindings, um, Sometimes you can't even tell what they are like this one. There's a tape measure in there, and I don't know what else. I mean, you literally have to open the bag and look, and and I'm not going to do that right now, but here's some more binding. Now, I almost did pop on this because there was some Christmassy binding in there that was store-bought, and I thought, wow, that's cute, and they had a polka dot. They wanted like $5.99, but I left it. Now, if it's there next time, I'm probably going to buy it because I've been thinking about that bind this bag was interesting it looked like it had squares of some vintage turquoise stars in it i thought that was really cute but i didn't pop on that here was a, another bag of some binding and some rickrack and just some other odds and ends like you can't i think that was 
angel hair or something in that one bag. I mean, who knows, right? Here on the bottom shelf was a really, really nice art kit. Times like this, I wish I knew how to paint because it was only $1.99 for all of that stuff in that kit. Underneath that art kit was a bunch of this plastic. I mean, stacks of it. It said it was for sun catchers and such. So someone was going to find a good deal there for $1.99 each. Here's another mix of some binding and some lace for $3.99. Here's the overwhelming ribbon section at the Goodwill. Oh yeah, it's overwhelming, definitely. Today though, here was this wool cone of thread. I mean, it was scratchy, itchy wool type too, so it was definitely going back. Here's the yarn section. Always lots of yarn and always bagged up with all kinds of different yarn in the same bag, which like someone in my comment section had mentioned, who wants to buy a bag like that and make just random yarn? You wouldn't have enough to finish your project. So I get it. So I'm not sure what they're doing there. And then I find something that I really need. <laughs> I needed an easel in my sewing room so that I could put my design boards up on them when they're up on my cutting mat when I'm doing a video. So this is perfect. And then I started to second guess myself because then I saw this turquoise easel and another white one and they were from Ikea. And I thought, oh my word, is this where you go name brand or you just stick with what you think is gonna work for you? Because I really liked the black one better, but because this one said Ikea, so I ended up going with my gut and I left the two Ikea ones there. This box right here caught my eye. Now I'm a sucker for some vintage roses, no doubt about it. So I was sifting through here and there were just tons of beautiful old vintage cards that you could tell were taken very well care of because the humidity or nothing had gotten to them. Some of them were made out of this really nice, thick, almost like onion paper, like what a Bible would be made out of. I don't know, it was really weird. My mom makes a lot of cards and she scrapbooks, so I thought, well, let me grab this just in case she might want it. But she has so much already, she said. So I decided that I'm going to keep them and I'm actually going to give them out the next time I need a card to give somebody. This is our second auction of the day. I found two quilting books that had a rubber band around them. Now, evidently, in my Goodwill, they take out a lot of the good stuff and they sell them online. Well, evidently, these were online to sell and they probably didn't end up selling. That's why they're here. So, they're typically a quarter each, but these ones ended up, they were $1.99 for both, and that's why the rubber band was around them. They find that these are of better quality, I guess, or I don't know. I'm not sure what their thought process is there. So anyways, the one book here I'm showing you has a bunch of templates that you could utilize to make a quilt. These two books will go up for bid as a set. So you'll get both of them for whatever the bidding price ends up being. It will start at 99 cents for the both of them and run for seven days. There were actually a couple patterns in here that I had never seen before. So this could be a really good find. Check out this quilting treasure. Oh yeah, this beautiful wooden quilt rack. And I snatched it up for $12.99. And it's in really great shape. It's solid, it's sturdy, it doesn't sway, it doesn't move. And I needed one because that last one I got at the Goodwill, that big solid oak one, well, I ended up giving it to my daughter and her husband for that big, huge, cathedral, heavy quilt that I made them. <laughs> Here was a Sears Kenmore sewing machine with a cabinet. Now, I opened it up, and it was in pretty rough shape. I mean, I don't know. Some of this stuff probably should go to the dump, but I don't know. Maybe someone can resurrect it, but I doubt it. It was in rough shape, but they wanted $29 for it, and I think it's probably going to sit there. The back room at my Goodwill, it was stuffed with furniture. I think people are downsizing all over the place. Then there was this gem right here. It was a white vintage sewing cabinet. Check out those drawers. I mean, my word, those are beautiful. 
the crafting on this cabinet is just amazing. I was really sort of hoping that when I opened up the top of the cabinet that there would be some magical machine in there, but yeah, no. It was definitely gone, but boy, I could see the craftsmanship and I just really enjoyed looking at this piece. Check out the measurement right there on the front of this wooden part where your machine would go right in the front of that. They wanted $75 for this. I actually really thought about paying the $75 just so I could have the drawers, but I didn't. I absolutely adore all the thought and the process that had to go into making this beautiful piece of art, really. Look at the handles on these drawers. I mean, right? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Here, listen real closely. You can hear the treadle. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.